My name is Dave Tanagawa, and I'm a senior storage engineer with NetApp IT. In previous videos within this how-to series, we've talked about storage-based ONTAP snapshots, which are more efficient and less resource intensive than traditional backup and restore technologies based on streaming data devices, such as tape or streaming disk devices that emulate tape. We've also talked about asynchronous snap mirror and how different snap mirror policy types are preferred over others when protecting against ransomware. Certain data sets require application consistent backups in order to ensure that data in memory and in pending IO operations are flushed to disk in the correct transactional order while minimizing recovery steps to restore service and data availability as efficiently as possible. By leveraging ONTAP snapshots and flex clones while ensuring application consistency, NetApp Snap Center provides centralized, high performance, application consistent enterprise data protection and clone management for applications, databases, host file systems, and VMs running on ONTAP systems anywhere in the hybrid cloud. The Snap Center platform is based on a multi tiered architecture that includes a centralized management server and a Snap Center plugin host. Snap Center enables high availability and horizontal scaling across multiple Snap Center servers within a single user interface. You can accomplish high availability by using an external load balancer. For larger environments with thousands of hosts, adding multiple Snap Center servers can help balance the load. Supported Snap Center plugins include Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, SAP HANA, Microsoft Exchange Server, Windows File System, and VMware virtual machines and data stores. Snap Center also enables end users to create plugins for custom applications. Role-based access controls can allow self-service by application or database administrators. Custom scripts can be executed before or after backup, cloning, and restore operations using Perl, Python, PowerShell, and REST API. Once Snap Center creates application-consistent local snapshots, it can also be configured to update a snap mirror relationship, copying the newly created snapshots to a snap mirror destination. Kumari Sahu from our storage operations team will now demonstrate how easy it is to configure and use Snap Center. Hello, everyone. My name is Kumari, Senior Storage Engineer at NetApp, and I'm part of NetApp IT Storage Operations team. Today, I would like to share a demo with you on how we manage MySQL database backups using Snap Center. As you may already know, we are responsible for managing all the internal storage system for NetApp. This includes ensuring that our databases are backed up on a regular basis to prevent data loss. To achieve this, we use a tool called Snap Center. With Snap Center, we can quickly and easily back up our databases and also restore them when needed. For this demo, I will be focusing on how we use Snap Center to back up our MySQL databases. I will walk you through the steps involved in setting up a backup policy and how to initiate a backup operation. By the end of this demo, you will better understand how Snap Center can be used to manage MySQL database backups and how it can help you to ensure that your data is always safe and secure. Thank you for listening, and I would be happy to answer any questions you may have at the end of the demo. So let's get started. To create a MySQL database backup using Snap Center, first, let's add the storage system and the host information to the Snap Center. So click on uh, Snap Center Web UI, select host and click on add here add the host uh, host name or the host ip information now add the necessary credentials domain account select the plugin information microsoft windows microsoft sql server plugin click on more options you'll see the default port details 8145 and the installation path on which the plugin will be installed on the server. So click on submit. Okay, now the host is added to the Snap Center. Click on storage system. Add 
new can add the host uh, store system IP address. This is a vServer management IP. Uh, please add the IP address. Uh, validate the IP is accessible. And use the necessary credentials. Click on more options. You'll see it is a FAS, protocol is HTTPS, port 443, and timeout is 60 seconds. So click on submit. Okay, once the host is added and uh, it is accessible on the SNAP Center, uh, verify the storage system is also added. We have both uh, the primary and the backup destination uh, storage system added to the SNAP Center. Now let's create a backup policy before we initiate the uh, MySQL database backup. So click on uh, settings, select policies, click on new. Here you can give any name, daily, snap mirror, snap wall backup. So you can give snap mirror and snap wall. Backup type, uh, this can be a full backup or incremental backup. You can choose the backup type here. Uh, click on next. Retention, you can uh, choose the frequency and the timings. I'm leaving it default. Replication, select uh, the box snap mirror and the snap vault after creating the snapshot copy. Select the policy label the snapshot you want to copy to the backup destination i'm selecting daily click next and finish okay once the uh, backup policy is created let's create the mysql database backup click on resource and uh, select microsoft SQL Server. Here uh, you'll find the list of database here. Click on the database you want to uh, take a backup. Select the backup. Uh, select the database. Click on next. Choose the policy, um, whichever you want to uh, select. It can be daily or the one snap error and snap vault included. Click on next. You can send the notification uh, if, if there are any errors in the backup. You can uh, forward that information to your email address. Click on summary, finish. Once the policy is attached to the ba database uh, backup, uh, you can now select backup now option here. Now create a backup uh, for the selected resource, the backup, uh, the uh, selected the back database backup policy and the backup has been initiated. To monitor the backup status, click on uh, monitor option, double click on the backup. You'll see the detailed job information. Here, the database uh, is started preparing the code backup, verifying the validated the retention uh, settings. So you'll see that the database uh, creating snapshot copy, unfreeze database, Replicating the uh, database copy, backup copy to the secondary location, and the job has been completed. We can close this and let's go to the resource. Click on the database, the one which we just took a backup. Here, you can see a full backup. 
and it's been captured. So this backup can be used to uh, clone or restore. And if you want, you can rename the backup as well. That's it. You have a successfully you have successfully created a MySQL database backup using Snap Center. With Snap Center, you can easily manage and automate your backup and recovery operations, ensuring that your data is always safe and secure. Thank you. Thank you.